Hold up. All right. This is an update about, damn it, this is the body cam. Remember the police officer that who had done got shot coming to do the mental health thing and and I think that was our stud sister who had the fire on her, but I was like, damn, it looked like a cigarette and shit like that right there. And she shot law enforcement, allegedly shot law enforcement, and then she ran off, and then she got shot by police, and she made it, and she was in the hospital. Well, they release another body cam, but a, a part of the body cam. Watch a little. First, police in Clayton County have released body camera footage from a violent encounter between an officer. When I tell y'all that yellow dress is nice, do you? Think? Officer and a woman they say was suicidal. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us tonight for Fox 5 News at 10. I'm Tom. She looked like an auntie, though, don't it? She looked like an auntie with the low cut and everything. Shut that baby out for having her real though. That's what's up. I'm and I'm Christine Spiro. Police say that woman shot Officer D'Amico Lloyd multiple times. Watch this. Fox Eyes Joy Dukes joins us from the live desk with more, Joy. Yeah, Tom Christine, that video was released by Clayton County police officials after family members of the 25 year old woman who was experiencing a mental health crisis shared video of the shooting from exterior cameras on the home. We do want to warn you the video may be difficult to watch. Maybe. Hold on, hold on. Good, hold on. Body camera video from Clayton County Police shows the seconds before Officer D'Amico Lloyd was shot multiple times on the night of July 27th at this home. What I thought was a cigarette was a gunfire. On Newberry Drive off Highway 138, police say Lloyd was responding to multiple calls regarding 25-year-old Ayanna Pryor, who was threatening to kill herself. In the body camera video, Lloyd first encounters another woman inside the home. She asks where her daughter is and tells her they received a call. I didn't call. Your daughter is? Officer Lloyd then enters the home and calls for Ayanna. What's going on? You called us again? Lloyd states they received a report that she had a weapon and again asks what's going on. I can't help you. Seconds later, Pryor can be seen facing Officer Lloyd while taking steps backward to exit the home through a back door. Clayton County Police then highlight what they say is a gun in Pryor's right hand. Seconds later. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Police officials say Officer Lloyd did not receive help until other officers arrived at the scene. Pryor's family. Remember when I had them said that it would have made her look better if she would have stayed to try to help out the officer, even though they tussled with the gun. But y'all do understand when she was standing up and the officer was down, she shot again. Nah. Y'all ain't catch it. Shout out, I make 59 look good. Surely for the, for the, for the $10 cash shop, say every month I am blessing five people. New month. I appreciate that right there. Y'all listen. This is what the family got to say. Police officials say Officer Lloyd did not receive help until other officers arrived at the scene. Pryor's family told Fox 5 it was Lloyd who was the aggressor, but that is not clear in the video. They say, remember? They don't know what happened. They knew that sh she was having an episode or something like that right there. Um, uh, okay, no, I don't give a damn about your goddamn episode. Y'all do understand how she just shot this woman. Pryor's family told Fox 5 it was Lloyd who was the aggressor, but that is not clear in the video released by police. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. They did not respond to calls Monday. Investigators say Pryor took off after the shooting. Atlanta police confronted her later that night. Police say she shot at officers who tried to get her to surrender. Officers shot back, hitting her. At both Pryor and Officer Lloyd remain in the hospital. Clayton County Police said they have no further information to release at this time, but are asking for continued prayers for Officer Lloyd. The GBI is investigating that. Back it 27th up. Back it up. in the home. We do want to warn you the video may be difficult to watch. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Body camera video. Do y'all understand because they said that the officer was the aggressor? The officer tried to prevent it from being worse. She saw her with the gun, pulling out the gun or holding the gun, mo moving her hand with the gun. She was probably getting ready to aim it at her ass and then she would have really had to drop on her. The officer was trying to prevent her from having to drop on her. That was a good move by that officer.
Oh, from Clayton County Police shows the seconds before Officer D'Amica Lloyd. And I didn't know that she was, what, 26, 27, the officer. Lloyd was shot multiple times on the night of July 27th at this home. She took a hell of a chance, though, to rush her like that right now. That, that was a hell of a chance. Um, on Newberry Drive off Highway 138, police say Lloyd was responding. Yeah, she saved her own life, technically. Into multiple calls regarding 25-year-old Ayanna Pryor, who was threatening to kill herself. In the body camera video, Lloyd first encounters. Say we don't know that for sure, will it? Whoa, 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 no, no, no. Know what? We pretty much guessing though. I don't, but, but like, he said, Willie, count the gun flashes, blow, bro, slow it down. Another woman right, inside cool. the home. She asks where her daughter is and tells her they received. Okay. Let's come up a little bit. Let's come up. Let's see. Okay. Because at first I thought it was a, um, it was a. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Hold on, I have to cut the play button off. And I got to walk this shit because I downloaded it. So I can't slow it like that. I can't, wait, wait, wait. Let me see, the, damn it, the playback. I can't change the playback because I downloaded it. Oh, so I can't move it as slow as I would like to. Let's see, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 let me go back here. Let me try to move it really slow. We see fire there. We see fire there. And I think we heard on the last. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I can. And it looked like a light right there. I'm trying to move it as slow as I can. Yep. There there's a light right there. Let's go back to see if we can hear the sounds now because that's the best I could do right there. Hold with the on. home through a back door. Clayton County Police then highlight what they say is a gun in Pryor's right hand. Seconds later. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. like three it sounded like three but it was a little muffled so it probably could have been like two more but i think that it was three hold on here we go I can't help you. Oh, yeah. what's going on. seconds later prior can be seen facing officer lloyd while taking steps backward to exit the home through a back door clayton county police then highlight what they say is a gun in prior's right hand seconds later hold on hold on hold on hold on During the muffles, it could have at least been two to three more shots. During the muffling. Hold up. One more time. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's clearly three. We clearly got three because we also see the sparks. We can also see it, but the way that the body was turned depend on where she got hit. It could have been two more. It could have been. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, and y'all is doing a very good job with listening. Y'all is really doing a good job with listening. I sure appreciate that right there. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Damn it, it could be about five. Let me, let me, listen, the only one that kind of let me know I don't give a damn about her mental health was the last shot. She was standing up. The officer was down. Hold on. Everything else in my mind could have, could have at least, it could have played as if because we're tussling, my finger's on the trigger and it's going off, so I'm kind of not meaning to shoot you, but it's that last shot for me. She was on her feet, finna run off. The officer was down.
Police officials say Officer Lloyd did. She shot her and walked up. Do y'all understand how she bust her and just walked away? <laughs> Police officials say Officer Lloyd did not receive help until other officers arrived at the scene. Pryor's family told Fox 5 it was Lloyd who was the aggressor, but that is not clear. In the and then you got to ask yourself, how do the family know that she was the... How do the family know the officer was the aggressor? And this is what I be trying to tell a whole bunch of folks, and I've been saying shit for years. Sometimes we got to wait. Sometimes it's best to... To, to wait for the footage and shit. Wait till you see some shit. And, and then you got to see some shit from different angles. A lot of times we got to see different footages to put it all together. Be like, oh, all right. That, all right. Yep, the officer is at fault here. Or, all right, the citizen is at fault here. Let, we just be needing more information, man. This will stop us, stop a whole bunch of us who be talking to other people who be having conversations, it'll stop us from looking like asses because we we give like a solid opinion when we see the first video. We give a solid one. This is it, this, this, and this. Instead of just, all right, based off the video, this is what I'm going with, but I still need to see more. You know what I'm saying? This is my feeling just from the little bit that I'm seeing, but I need to see more. So, like, you not so... So stuck on, this is exactly what happened and this is what it is. We got to stop looking like asses once once the other footages come out. Because a lot of times they, they really be showing us footage so we can just snap off rip. And they would notice how, listen, they put this footage out a day after it happened, if I'm not mistaken. A day after it hit the news and all that shit there, it was out there and da 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 after that, they put that shit out quick. We not receive help until other officers arrived at the scene. Pryor's family told Fox 5 it was Lloyd who was the aggressor, but that is not clear in the video. I'm here to tell the family, y'all was wrong. Y'all was wrong. She did not have... Yes, she had to shoot the officer. Y'all blaming mental health? She had to shoot the officer. She wasn't going. She was ready to die. And then she went left, and I think she is the one who was heading to Atlanta, if I'm not mistaken. I think she's the one um, who then had a shootout with the damn police. And they had to shoot her and lay her down. And, well, she's, she's at the hospital now recovering. So she was about that life. So she was supposed to shoot the officer. Especially she shot her in the backyard at a people's house. And left her. Cat to be more careful. It just is what it is. Be careful watch 23, 16, 16, 09. And I think that the officer has been on the force for like what? A year and seven months. I think they say about a year and seven months. She had to make a split decision. I don't know if if that part was in the training. Damn it, if you see the gun and you can get a chance to wrestle with the gun, which is not a good idea. But how things played out, it possibly saved her life. Only because how things played out. If she survived, then she did the right thing. But I wouldn't... It's a difficult situation because the family called in for a mental health problem. And now I see you with, with a goddamn gun. Oh, whoa, 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 shouty. And if I can catch a slipping, let me try to get this bitch from her. You know what I'm saying? I have training. You know? That's what I'm thinking about. I have training, but maybe the officer didn't think. I little stud sister got training too. I ain't got damn street. You know what I'm saying? Say, Willie, she probably got some good stuff. Which one? Both or or or, or, or our stud sister? I have no idea. Just saying, or just police officer. They got a hard job. They got a hard job, but they signed up for it. They signed up for it because a whole bunch of us, we can't make it. You know what I'm saying? We can't pass the test. You know, we can't be honest in the in the polygraph and shit. You know, 
I put my applications in and they gonna tell pimping. We think that you should just do commentary on YouTube. Mm. I don't know. I believe that that's what they told me back then. But listen, listen, y'all. Give y'all yourselves a pat on the back, boy. Y'all done made it over 500. Listen, give y'all yourselves a pat on the back because you done made it to the end of the night, night, nightly news, y'all. It's time to go out there and catch that shit and make sure that you go around there. Um, in the morning, uh, emergency room is open 24 hours. He say, I'm a mental health patient and me versus the police. Nope. Trying to tell you. See... People will tend to use this mental health thing as if people don't know what the hell they're doing. And that's going to be our downfall. This is going to be our downfall as a people. Because we're going to tend to let people slide because they have a mental health problem. She, she shot the officer. Walked off. Uh, walked away. Left her for dead. Because she walked away and she said that she had been shot. So she's, she left her for dead. Got in the car and pew, ran into some other police officers. And had a shootout. And I guess we can use the mental health problem. No, it's, it's just regular behavior. <laughs> if you ask me, we're talking about humans. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man, I appreciate y'all for rocking with a player.